I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 296, where I'm going to show you how to generate an item list when a condition is met. This is in response to a question sent to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com by Bechnam. Bechnam watched episode 293, and he saw how I went ahead and identified those cities that had sales within the top X percent. And what he would like to know is, okay, I want to create a completely distinct, or I want to create another category that only has those items that are in the top X percent of whatever I put in here. And how do I do that? Well, Bechnam, this is how I would recommend you do it. I would go ahead and simply add another item here into this matrix where I'm calculating whether or not something is in the top X percent. And then I would go ahead and write some logic that simply says, if my uh, top percent X flag equals one, then go ahead and bring my location back. Otherwise, go ahead and bring me a blank. So this goes ahead and populates those cities or those locations where my top X percent equals one. If I were to go ahead and again change this, you can go watch episode 293 that shows you exactly what I'm doing here but it goes ahead and gives me now only those locations that have that make up only 20% of the sales. So what he wants to do is he wants these to be a, a category in and of themselves or items within a, a category, and he wants it to generate automatically. So I'd go ahead and insert a new matrix, and then I would rename category uh, D. I would call it location top X, maybe. And then I would select, uh, right click and select configure, generate items. And then go out here and simply make my range that I'm going to specify after I make it automatic. Go ahead and make it matrix nine, model elsewhere item. If I go ahead and I click okay, then what happens is only those items that are identified uh, based off of the logic that is calculated here, show up over here in this location top X. If I were to go ahead and maybe make this 60%, I would see my list grow. If I were again to maybe drop this down to say 5%, I would expect to see one item, which would be Kanash in that list. So that is how you would create kind of this dynamic category when a condition is met. Again, you can go watch 293 that goes through that kind of logic but then by simply adding a simple if statement and creating another item, I can isolate those locations and I can have those locations using some dynamic uh, item generation. Uh, go ahead and populate a, a location in and of itself with only those items. If you have any questions about any episode you've seen of Quantrix Authority and how I do it, or if you have any other question that you haven't seen a video on that you'd like to get some help on, I really do hope that you reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com because I absolutely love Quantrix and I really do want to make you a Quantrix master. I don't charge you to ask me a question. It's completely free. It's my gift to you and to the Quantrix community because I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... Quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. master.